searching for the way to go. Stranger, heavy hearted, longing for someone to know. May you find a light, may you find a light, may to guide you home. This year we're all tired. We're conditioned to be joyful, to be merry, to plaster on a fake smile and do Christmas right. But this year of all years, when we really could use a little Christmas right this very minute, joy seems hard to summon. Emptiness pervades, emptiness in our being, emptiness in our spirit, emptiness at our tables. Quarantines, disrupted travel, gathering size limits have left empty chairs at our tables. Death, so much death, from COVID and other sources, has left empty chairs at our tables. Splinted relationships over politics, over COVID, over so much else have left, left empty chairs at our tables. To paraphrase the psalmist, how do we celebrate our Lord's birth in the midst of so much emptiness? How do we celebrate when we feel so tired, so hurt, so done? So where do we start? We start by breathing. So I invite you to breathe Stop, listen to your breath. Breathe in, breathe out, and hear these words of Jesus taken from Matthew chapter 11. If you're tired from carrying heavy burdens, come to me and I will give you rest. Take the yoke I give you, put it on your shoulders and learn from me. I am gentle and humble, you will find rest. For this yoke is easy to bear, this burden is light. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, to be called Emmanuel, God with us, the bringer of rest. So come worship the child, the light bringer, God with us. Come to rest from all that troubles you. Come to learn what the light bringer teaches of life. Come to realize all you can offer to others. Come out for a little while into holy space so you can return. Return to your journey a little lighter, a little more hopeful, a little more alive. So come, join us at our table. Come and breathe. Let us pray. Loving and gracious God, we come to you trusting you hear our prayers. We seek your peace and comfort. We're tired. We bear feelings of deep hurt, sadness, anger, relief, and hope. We know your love has space for us, for our feelings. Those we speak, those we're unable to put to words. Be a candle to us, breaking into darkness. Let your light, dear Christ, break through into our souls. Hold us, Lord. Comfort us. Fill us with hope. Open our eyes to your healing love. We pray in the name of Jesus, our Christ. Amen. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Shall come to
to the always Israel. In the struggles of our pandemic time, in the midst of personal struggles we all bear, we light candles. We light our first candle traditionally known as the candle of hope, to acknowledge all in the world and in our lives robbing us of hope. Let us pray. Hope for the hopeless. Our hope disappears like water through our fingers. Will we survive? Everywhere we turn, we are surrounded by disease, death, addiction, family strife. Distance separates us. We wonder about our purpose. We find ourselves filled with despair and this day we pray for relief, for hope, for fear to abandon us, never to come again. Oh, come thou rod of Jesse free. Thine own from Satan's tyranny, from depths of hell thy people save, and give them victory o'er the grave. Rejoice, rejoice. We light our second candle, traditionally known as the candle of peace, to acknowledge all in the world and in our lives, robbing us of peace. Prince of peace, conflict, hate, and fear fill our world, our country, our lives. Anger and unrest surround us. Exhausted by nine months of pandemic, unable to celebrate your birth as is our custom, unable to join with family and friends, shriveled by fear for ourselves and those close to us who are most vulnerable, we seethe with anger. Grant us the blessing of peace in this season of goodwill. Give us peace so fear will never come to us again. Oh, come thou day spring, come and cheer our spirits by thine advent here. Disperse the gloomy clouds of night and death's dark shadows put to flight. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. We light our third candle, traditionally known as the candle of joy, to acknowledge all in the world and in our lives robbing us of joy. Stiller of the storm, we hear joy to the world over the radio and watch happy ending Hallmark movies, but the days remain gloomy. Joy is not coming with the dawn. The darkness comes early and stays late. So much has been altered. Phone calls, video chats substituting for the real thing. We long to laugh again with our families. We long to hug friends without fear, to connect once again. 
Give us the relief of your deep, satisfying joy. Give us joy so fear will never come to us again. Oh, come the key of David, come and open wide our heavenly home. Make safe the way that leads on high and close the path to me. We light our fourth candle, traditionally known as the candle of love, to acknowledge all in the world and in our lives robbing us of love. Source of love, our hearts ache ache with the absence of the ones we love, those separated from us by the barriers between life and death, those separated from us by the barriers of distance, of misunderstandings, of conflict, of different paths chosen. We feel so alone, unable to go out and gather with others, unable to invite those we love into our homes. Give us the relief of your deep, satisfying love, Give us love so fear will never come to us again. Love came down at Christmas. Love, all oh lovely, love divine. Love was born at Christmas. Star and angels gave the sign. Emmanuel, our God with us. Emmanuel, our hope, our trust. Worship we the Godhead, love incarnate, love divine. Worship we our Jesus, but wherewith for sacred sign, Emmanuel, our God with us, Emmanuel, our hope, our trust. Love shall be our token, love be yours and love be mine. Love to God and all men, love for plea and gift and sign, Emmanuel, our God with us, Emmanuel, our hope, our trust. Bringer of rest, we come to you empty. We can only bring what we have. So we bring you our grief, for we have lost much. We bring you our fear, for the night is long and we are afraid. We bring you our pain, for we hurt in our bodies and we hurt in our souls. We bring you our unworthiness, for we don't really think Jesus was born for us. We bring you our hopelessness, for the way ahead is long and dark. We bring you our doubt, for we wonder at times if you even exist. We bring you our lives just as they are, for it's all we have. The remaining candles acknowledge those places we experience emptiness. We light candles for those who would occupy the empty chairs. 
those separated from us in so many ways. We light candles for those voids in our own lives, places of pain, hurt, fear. We long to be filled. We light candles for those places our world seems lost in darkness, unable to be the vibrant creation you called into being. We light candles to remind ourselves of those who journey with us, who give us strength and hope. We light candles to remind us God is light. And the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them a light has shone. Light looked down and saw darkness. I will go there, said Light. Peace looked down and saw war and unrest. I will go there, said Peace. Love looked down and saw pain and hatred. I will go there, said Love. So the Lord of Light, the Prince of Peace, the King of Love, came down and crept in beside us. God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day. To save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. From God our Heavenly Father, a blessed angel came. And unto certain shepherds brought tidings of the same. How that in Bethlehem was born the Son of God by name. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. To us a child is born, a hard thing to bring life into this world. Unto us a son is given, a hard thing to give beyond everything. Unto us light for all people, a hard thing to wrestle light from darkness. We too, in this pandemic time, are doing a hard thing. So let the lightness of Christ's yoke settle upon your shoulders. Search for the light darkness cannot overcome. And remember, remember to be kind to yourself. Forgive yourself. Appreciate your strength. Give thanks for what has sustained you. Give yourself permission to savor what renews you. Be gentle with yourself, beloved. We are doing a hard thing. God loves us. God believes in us. God is with us. We will make it through. Lost and weary traveler, searching for the way to go stranger heavy hearted longing for some one to know may you find a light may you find Oh 
searching every where you go Stray.